What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to enable, disable or change the sidebar sections into the Enzo Visual Moto free WordPress team. So in the latest video that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below, we did learn how to install and download this theme for free from wordpress.org, how to start changing the branding, for example, adding logo, and now we're gonna be learning how to play with sidebars. We're gonna be learning how to apply sidebars into pages, posts, custom post types, and any other kind of section of your site. For example, the archives. That is the page that WordPress generates for the taxonomies, like your blog posts category page, for example. First of all, make sure that you have your Enzo WordPress theme active, and after this, click on Customize into your WordPress dashboard Appearance Customize. And in the very first option, call it General Options, we have a couple of options right here, because it's almost like a premium WordPress theme for free. And go to General Sidebar. And now, I did not set a front page now, so I'm using the, the full layout. And for the full layout, that isn't a page, is a WordPress template. I want the sidebar to be on to the right, but I can set to left or even both left and right. I'm gonna populate the sidebar with widgets, that is something that I'm gonna teach in a future video, but I already have told that. I did it in some previous content, so feel free to search to the Visual Moto YouTube channel. The same change panel, the same selector, what happens for pages, single blog posts, and archives. So you can edit every single part of your site without hurry. If you are not seeing the change, no need to worry, it's probably cached, so nothing to worry. Make sure that you click into the publish blue button into the top of this left sidebar of options and see the result into the front end or live website. If you want, we have the Enzo Gutenberg option where you can apply into the post or page meta content. Go to your blog post editor or page editor, scroll down this panel until you find this option called Enzo Layout. And into Enzo Layout, the very first option is Sidebar. And you can set a different location for your sidebar or remove your sidebar for a single blog post. As I did here, in the case that you do not want that this copy the global layout that you have set into the customizer as we teach previously. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes and download our Enzo WordPress theme into wordpress.org for free. And I'll see you later. All the best.